night work on Canberra nears its end as her crew receive briefing for their delayed Atlantic flight. Conditions are not good, but squadron leader Callard, the pilot, gets the weather report. OK, bar a 90 miles an hour headwind. Flight Lieutenant Robson is in charge of communications and Flight Lieutenant Haskett will navigate. Damaged in collision with a seagull on the way to Northern Ireland, Canberra is a day late taking off on the first jet crossing of the Atlantic without refueling. Now she's ready and leaves the hangar under RAF police patrol guard. She's a top secret, a little something nobody else has got. As she fuels up, her crew come out, ready for their 2,100-mile non-stop flight. They'll need all the fuel she can take. Most of the way, they'll be flying eight miles up, so the crew are trying out new cold-weather clothing, including a waistcoat through which they breathe oxygen. Wingtip tanks carry extra fuel. Now Callard waves OK. The jets open up, and as the blast hits the runway, Canberra taxis away for the start of her record-breaking flight. Four hours, 40 minutes later, she made aviation history for Britain.